Well, a very good morning, and uh, welcome to this uh, episode of the Topical Discussion. My name is Simon Kagwanjara. Yes, the controversy surrounding the ex Gracia Award is now back in the news and creating a lot of storm. Mm -hmm. After yesterday's ruling by Justice Singiza, that declared that the award of 500 million to Commissioner Mpuga and 400 million to commissioners from the NRM side was legal but improper. Well, this was premised on, on, um, on a petition or a case that was filed by Brete Daniel challenging the Ex Gracia Award and seeking court to nullify this and uh, deem it illegal. But, well, what is interesting? Yesterday, uh, Honorable Mathias Simpuga held a news conference and said he is vindicated and it is now time for him to start his political course after a long lull. But still, we want to make sense of this. What does it mean to politics? Is this a huge slap that leaves the national unity platform with an egg on the face? Remember, uh, Honorable Mpuga was literally relieved of his duties as deputy president of the national unity platform on grounds that he had participated in acts of corruption in getting this award of uh, 500 million shillings. Well, let's discuss this shortly after this break. <clears throat> so we shall use that to now agree as parliament as how we do our business. Probably it offers education to members of parliament that neglect their duty and then want to appeal to the public uh, through incitement and other forms of excitement on their own. Also, to note that probably this will put the petitioners in the right space. People have been asking why I have been personally quiet and left matters to, the, to take their course. It's because I believe in the rule of law. If people are petitioning, they have right to petition. If, if people go to court, they have right to go to court. And all these different agencies of government have a right to take a decision. We, today we obtained one of the key decisions. I am sure it is going to impact probably other possible decisions that we will obtain from that ruling. Well, this morning we'll be speaking to Dr. Abed Branika, Member of Parliament, Chimanya Kabonera, who's been very vocal in support of the Exa Gracia Award uh, to his comrade, uh, Honorable Matthias Impuga, together with uh, Council George Musisi, who has lately become or been tagged as the NOOP lawyer, the National Inter Platform lawyer. Good to have you, Council, and a very good morning. I'm happy to be here. Well, uh, Honorable Buanika, good morning and nice to have you. Uh, good morning and it's nice to be here. Well, counsel, mm. what are the key notable things in Justice Singiza's ruling? Well, the judge made three important orders. The first order was that the uh, decision of 6th May 2022 to award uh, the commissioners three, uh, 400 million shillings and Honorable Mpoga 500 million shillings was approved by both the executive and parliament. The second order that the clerk, uh, he called it dereliction of duty, uh, did not do what he was supposed to do, and that he should be held personally responsible for that money. The third order was that the uh, PSST, Secretary of the Treasury, should take disciplinary measures against the clerk to parliament for the dereliction of that duty. Those were the three important orders. And of course, you, in your opening remarks, you said the controversy. Uh, uh, and in my opinion, I don't think that court did a, a lot to <coughs> remove, uh, did cure. very little to remove the controversy. Did it cure <laughs> or made matters worse? Well, I don't think, I, would, I wouldn't say it made matters worse, but it didn't cure. Because even the judge in his own ruling, uh, first of all, he talked about the issue of service award and talked about how, how uncomfortable he was of the, calling it a service award. Because saying that, one, 
service awards are ordinarily given at the end of one's term. Why would they be talking about a service award less than the end of a term? Secondly, he called it a red flag. Second, he said the second red flag that the wording service award is usually for in profit companies, not for, for, for political entities, not for why would they use uh, something which is associated with business enterprises for politics? He called it a second red flag. Then he was also uncomfortable with the manner in which it was uh, appropriated, that it was under, uh, in the appropriations bill, under ex gratia for oh. political leaders. And be, uh, the first one to six were former uh, speakers. Then number seven was Honorable Mpoga. Then number eight were the commissioners. So I was saying that if your ex gratia is different from retirement benefits, retirement benefits are mandatory under the law. Uh, so the six people were entitled to, to, to benefits under the law, the six. Then why would you lump them, the six, under ex gratia, which is discretionary? So he was uncomfortable with that. And he also said he didn't want to question why parliament or the executive brought this. That is the politics behind the award. That's it. I don't want to inquire. I only want to concentrate on the process. So I'm saying that it, it, it didn't do a lot to cure the controversy. If you are saying they went through the, 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 the necessary approvals, which is correct, that, uh, as per the evidence, because it's now a court decision, then why would you condemn a clerk to be personally responsible, the accounting officer? Is the judge saying, or, uh, I don't say the judge, is court saying that if parliament has went through the necessary procedures, the accounting officer can veto the decision of parliament? That is not uh, legally correct. Then why would you condemn someone unheard? The clerk was not part of the case. Why would you condemn him to disciplinary action without For giving... acting improper. But he has not been heard. It's a, a basic principle of fair hearing that a person should be given just to be heard. <coughs> so that's what I'm saying. Uh, and of course, even in his closing remarks, he said that <coughs> Attorney General should in future, because media is awash with stories of people who are already earning huge salaries, apportioning themselves more, salary, more, more rewards. That was in the obiter. In the obiter, mm. in his closing remarks. Mm. So I think that... Uh, just like we saw the High Court in Guru ruling last year regarding DP issues, where court said, you know, the, the Constitution was not followed, the delegates conference was not convened regarding, following the law, but no declaration made to, the, to uh, whether the people elected through that unlawful process are, are legal in office. I think this is another court ruling which doesn't do a lot to cure the okay. controversy. In simple <clears> terms, <throat> mm. do you want to look at this as an ambiguous ruling? Certainly it, oh, is to the, certainly it is to the extent that you are approving, you are giving a green light to the saying that the, uh, the processes are legal, and on the other hand saying someone should take uh, personal responsibility for that. So why should you take personal responsibility for illegality? Well, Honorable <coughs> Abed Bwanika, from the perspective of a legislator and someone who's been very outspoken on this award in support, how significant is the ruling? Uh, first of all, allow me to uh, send my condolences because I heard in the night that uh, uh, Mr. Tamale Mirundi, our very own, he passed on. Yes, it's confirmed. My thoughts and sympathies to the family and to the media fraternity where he has done, where he has contributed ably mm. and uh, the nation at large. <clears throat> uh, back to your question. I think uh, the judge did what he's supposed to do. <clears throat> we have been <clears throat> telling our fellow members of parliament and those who are interested in this issue of service award that the service awards were went through legal channels that we did proper appropriation as a parliament and the judge clearly pointed out that this ex gratia and service awards they went through an appropriation bill that was presented by the executive and passed by the parliament now, I've started hearing people turning into a corner of saying it is immoral. <laughs> that is a different story. I want the public to understand 
<coughs> and that's the judge has helped us, the courts have helped us on this issue. <coughs> Whatever happened with the service awards was legal. It never broke any law. The bill was brought on the floor of parliament. The parliament of Uganda approved. Now, if the parliament of Uganda approved, they, you don't shift the blame to the beneficiaries. Yeah, but you, do you want to suggest that yeah. the national unity platform, your party where you belong, depended on rumors no. to take action? Those, on, are, pop uh, those are populists. They are picking on issues that don't make sense. It is not only the, the, the NUP party. I mean, the, the, the NUP, uh, I mean, the leadership of NUP, but also the members of parliament. The members of parliament, we ought to have read the appropriation bill. That is the reason why they set us to the parliament. So it is shameful to parliament. Very shameful that you are a member of parliament, you pass a bill, and then the next few weeks, you claim that you have never seen what you pass. That is very shameful. Uh, how could you, because the way, they, the way we appropriate, this issue of the service award, it started from the leadership of the, 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 the parliament, it goes through the legal committee that scrutinizes it to ensure that it is within the law. That same proposal goes to the budget committee. After the budget committee, this proposal goes to the president. <clears throat> because this is statutory. It is a budget that is structurally. It goes to the president. From the president, the, mm. the budget committee presents it to the parliament, the plenary. How can a member of parliament who was sent to represent his people claim that you never saw this? We could have made a mistake, we as the parliament, that we accepted this service award. But there are ways how we collect mistakes which we make in parliament. Okay, did National Inter Platform, to be specific, the president of National Inter Platform, act on misinformation in it, cracking the whip on Mpuga? It is not only misinformation. I believe President Chagulani and, uh, and the leadership of NUP were just waiting for something that resembles a mistake on, on which they could stand on to punish Honale Bompuga for reasons that are very obvious. They were not comfortable with Honale Bompuga in terms of performance. He had performed excellently well as a leader of opposition. And there were fears that uh, uh, because of his performance, he, he becomes an alternative. And I uh, you know that, that that was the, the those were the fears. Well, well Councillor George, is it time now for the National Unity Platform, in the aftermath of this ruling, mm -hmm. to think of rescinding the position, of suspending, of lifting the suspension of Honourable Mpuga? Well, uh, there were two issues, in as far as I know them, uh, regarding uh, no, no position on that issue. The first one was uh, the issue of the legality. Incidentally, that, even that is knocked off now. Incidentally, mm. uh, I, I'm just saying that when you're asking whether they're asking on misinformation, even the general public, even you, Simon, a senior journalist, you just, we, we, we just saw this only when the, the, these issues came to court in a court ruling. That when that debate was there, even in Honorable Bompoga's statement in reply to the, to, and his press statement, immediately after that, that, that letter. No one talked about these detailed issues of saying, you know, it went through here, you know, it was titled this. No one came out. Not no, even but, parliament. But, but I thought that debate not has even, been on. Not even parliament. And uh, so, so then the other... So, so that means uh, that even did yes. not do due diligence to establish whether... The other limb 
the other limb do you agree that which, no, which, never uh, did, did, did let me it? first answer your first question mm. then i answer the third you, uh, Honorable Wanika is saying, you know, I hear people talking about uh, whether it was immoral. Or, actually, that has also been around, if you notice. Uh, and that is why, in fact, the, 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 the no president pointed it clear that we think it's an immoral issue. Now, for me, this is how I'm thinking, looking at it. If you look at the composition of the parliamentary commission, each person is there for a reason. There's a reason why Clark is there. There's a reason why the leader of government business is there. Why the leader of opposition to represent particular interests. And the, 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 the issue then was, and even which came out in court, <laughs> in the judgment, was, no, no one has answered that, that why did you deem it fit to sit six months into a term and talk about how you'll be appreciated at the end of the term? No one is answering that. Because this is also politics. And you are saying that you are there to represent the opposition interests. The other way of looking at it is saying, no, if I get a chance to eat, as long as I am, uh, it's illegal. Because otherwise, why would you, we are always criticizing uh, Mr. Museveni for his large expenses, for his 100 vehicle convoy. In, and, are, and it's illegal, in, because in, uh, that too is budget which is passed. We are always, in, in essence, mm. Mpuga is not yet free. It, it, there's that issue that is to, needs to be sorted that, and the judge also asked it. So and legally, that, legally he's, he's yes. cleared. But, but morally, otherwise, if you want to hide under the, you can say that you have no reason for, 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 for blaming Mr. M7 for his logic, living larger than life at the expense of Uganda because all his budget is also approved. Then this issue, Honorable Puga, so they are not comfortable with Honorable Puga. But he had been nominated less than two months ago to that position. He had been nominated to, 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 to be a commissioner by the party. So they, they, they had the chance of not nominating him because if they fear, how would you nominate someone six weeks ago and then you say that I fear him? They had the chance of dropping him as a party. Okay, by, by the look of this judgment, mm. Buga is exonerated to a great extent. Depends on and what you are asking he, him. He is seeking an apology from the party. D depends on, exonerated by, depending on what is asking him. Because the other question, if we are to court the judgment, I will ask you, why is the judge ordering the clerk to be punished and to be held personally responsible? Who can answer that? Why would the judge or court order for the clerk to be punished for a lawful and legally vindicating process? But why? It, it, okay. Because it, why, why it, would he be? No, 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 no. Just a second. Just a second. <laughs> Isn't it rather indicting that mm. your legislators mm. were unable to inform the president, the principal, that this matter went through every step. Actually, uh, Mr. Wanika knows that many times uh, the, the, the budgetary processes, for especially parliament budget, many times it's sometimes it's treated like holy grail in the in parliament. And sometimes all the details are not shared. And that is why uh, yeah. the lumping up of people who are supposed to receive payment as a matter of right and calling it exaggeration also took the attention of court. So I wouldn't even blame, uh, yes, I know there are some legislators who have problems reading, but I also know that sometimes budgets are, 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 are hidden. No, no. So you're paying the price of because the, the question, of your MPs. No. The question is, uh, the question is uh, why wa was the, 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 the service award, quote unquote, put under exgratia? Uh, that is something that was not answered by court. But court asked that. That exclusion and retirement benefits are different. Retirement benefits, these speakers, they are supposed to receive benefits as a matter of right because there's a legal provision. Look, looks shabby after this ruling. Do you agree? Well, it depends on your eyes. It has always looked shabby, Simon. <laughs> Simon. So <laughs> if it's your judgment, I, yeah. I don't think that uh, everyone would. Anyone would say. That is what you, you've always thought so. <laughs> is, is this a huge relief to the group that uh, seems to be? A splinter one that, that has fallen out with the mainstream. First of all, it is not true that there, is, there are budgets in the parliament that are hidden. The legal committee that examined the service award has no representatives. Honorable Sechitoleko is a member of the legal committee. Honorable Malende. All Shamim. these are lawyers, Shamim, they are members of the legal committee. That's the very reason why Honorable Sechitoreko refused to sign the censor. 
because he had examined <laughs> the, this budget proposal, and they passed it. Passing a budget in the parliament, it is a process. You, you cannot tell me that uh, these members of parliament who are sent by NUP, <laughs> who are on cards of NUP, on card of NUP on, and on opposition, that they don't have capacity to examine. When you read the, I'm not a lawyer, but I, I read through the judgment. Mm. When you read through that judgment, what the judge has issues with the clerk is about the clerk not advising parliament on the service award, on the naming. It's not about the award, it's on the naming. That why did he call it service award? That is your area. You need to read that judgment. I'm, what, what, I'm, I'm hearing the, okay. the council treating the, what is in the judgment. The, there is no. For your, for, your, for, 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 for if, that, if that was the real issue, the issue that he's speaking, mm -hmm. that uh, this was immoral, uh, why did the judge not pick on the commissioners? There is a school of thought. <laughs> yes. There is a school of thought that this Bwete Daniel is one of your own who went well, to it court could be Mr. Wanika's to, cleanse, <laughs> to cleanse to cleanse Mbuga and By the Mbuga. way we are not it's not only Bwete that uh, had gone to court I know that uh, Malema Virizi and others went to court and they withdrew and they decided because they, they were working with those who are on censure Malema Virizi decided to withdraw but uh, any Ugandan I me I don't know even who Bwete is but any Ugandan... It could be you. And because, no, you read the melt. <laughs> Even if it was me, you read the melt of the case. It is not about who took it to court. But what is... Because this, this has been our argument. Parliament passed properly this service award. Now, now, now the new twist is that, well, uh, Mpug and group could have been exonerated in courts. No, but they, they are not free in the courts of public are, opinion. They are very free. <laughs> the, actually, those, first of all, the censor uh, for Honorable Mpuga and, and team, it has now crumbled because it, they, that was their basis. That was their basis. There is no censor as I'm talking now. The, there are no grounds. The grounds have been, they have crumbled. When you go... Well, Honorable Theodore said he would give his comment today. He would give... His position. No, we him. don't depend on us. He wrote a motion. It is written. So we, we don't go in the mind of what is the Honorable Sech Kubo thinking. His motion, why the people, the members of parliament, put their signatures on that motion, it is written. Do you think the time is now for Mpuga to be reinstated as deputy president? I don't know whether... And should I don't the National Interplatform own up for this? I don't know whether Ampuga is still interested in being a leader in this uh, leaderless political party of NUP. Because, a because as I have talked now, they are leaderless. The things they are doing, they don't show that they have leadership, both in the parliament and outside. It is upon Honorable Ampuga whether he still wants to belong to that leadership. That but as I talk, as I talk now, they don't have reasons of continuing to suspend him, because it was a suspension. It was not a dismissal. They suspended Honale Bompuga. The difference is that they didn't want to first investigate. If they had given themselves space to first investigate, they wouldn't have been even uh, these issues of censor, issues of going to court. No, they would have, because this information, some of us had the information before. If they had called us at the headquarters of NUP to submit, we would have told them that, look here, don't put yourself in a corner. This process, this service awards went through proper channels. We can blame whoever received them on issues of what you are saying, moral, <laughs> moral grounds, but in terms of legality, they, 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 I mean, they, they went through the law. So whether well, now, and I don't think, I don't think that uh, the leadership, the current leadership of NUP, they can scale down and uh, compose themselves. And atone. Uh, and atone and, 
and recall Honale Bompug. I don't, I don't see them on well, that side. Uh, you were legal advisor to the National Unity Platform. Mm -hmm. Did you have a chance to scan through the documents and the processes before telling your principal on the next move? Or it was a rushed decision conducted in a manner of arbitrariness? Well, uh, it wasn't a rushed decision because uh, Honore Bompuga <laughs> was part of the, 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 the very initial meeting. And uh, just like I'm sure, he, he, even in that meeting, he did not avail these documents that you're telling me to have scanned himself. He did not say that, he, 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 and I'm sure he has not said it. He didn't say that availed them those documents, uh, which shows that, that uh, they went through the process. The other issue that you're ignoring, and, uh, and Mr. Bonica is not responding to, is the propriety of, uh, and that's something, that, uh, uh, you know when you hide under, uh, on the, 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 in UP had two issues, the legality and the propriety. You, you've lost the legality. The legal <laughs> I, I battle say, is lost I don't say, on you. Uh, it's not lost, <laughs> it's not lost, uh, Simon. Uh, Mr. Wanika said uh, the clerk was only held responsible because of the, word, the, the wording. No, that's not true. You, you cannot say, uh, the judge, the judgment says that as the final accounting officer, he had a duty to guide. You can't say that I'm holding you. They should be disciplined because you use the word service. <laughs> that is not even, it's quite preposterous even think about it, that the, 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 the PSS is being ordered to uh, uh, punish a clerk because you use the word service and not any other word. And that's why I'm saying that he if you are to, he was negligent. If you are to flag, mm. yes, if you are to flag this judgment, and I'm, I'm hoping that uh, since, since Mr. Wanika might be closer to Boete than the rest of the world, I, I wish better appeals and we have some bit of better jurisprudence. By the way, this is even beyond Mpuga because it's about the workings of parliament and the parliamentary commission, even if beyond even this, this actual parliament. If you look at it in terms of Mpuga and Nope, it's looking at it in a very... But, uh, but I think it's eye. also about the workings because of national inter-platform. What workings are you interested in? <laughs> that acts arbitrarily without in what, which, due diligence. What was the arbitrary action? Arbitrary no, action. Yes. Arbitrariness means... Arbitrariness means that without even scrutinizing no, cannot, the process... Something cannot Mr. be arbitrary. Mr. Nope never someone scrutinized someone the been process. Had. Mr. Did you? Someone cannot did nope, be did deemed... Did Nope scrutinize the Mr. process? Mr. Mr not be deemed to act arbitrarily when they have been given no, a hearing. Before you deemed... Mr. When you are given a no. hearing, you are given a chance to present. No, 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 Mr. Yes. Anjala, the meeting where they called Honale Bompuga, they read him the case. You are not part of the no, meeting. No, I'm telling you what was in the meeting. I'm telling you what is in the meeting. But you are not there. Yeah, I'm, Why I'm, you? I'm, 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 Why I'm, you? I'm, I'm a member I, 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 I'm of parliament. I'm knowledgeable about whatever happened. I've told you, this you? is what was in I'm the meeting. I'm telling you, I'm knowledgeable <laughs> about what happened I'm, there. This is what yeah. was in the meeting. Mm. They called Honorable Bumasas in Poga. There was the, the, the chairperson of the meeting was the Mr. Chagulani. There was Lewis. There was Katana. There was Joel. There was Honorable Namboze. Uh, and then there was the, the vice, the deputy president of the North in that meeting. They called the Honorable They called the Honorable There was the, Mwanga Chibumbi. Chibumbi. They called the Honorable Bumpuga. They read him the case. After the case, Honorable Chagulani read the verdict. <laughs> and it was as easy as that. And then he told him, go think through, tomorrow you, 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 you return to me. He called him the next day, he said, we have suspended you. That is all. Of course, you oh, what, what, that, kind, that what kind of, what kind of is, leadership is, is, is that? So is, is, <laughs> isn't that a bit of, of course, what he has given is, 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 a, is a, a dramatized version of what No, happened. you can okay, give your own What happened? You what can happened? give your own version. Uh -huh. In Which, fact, all, every person in the meeting spoke. But every person in the meeting spoke. Is so every a, person. <laughs> Which kind of structure was that? Was that? Well, when, in politics, there's consensus building. So, no, I, which, I, 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 of the which party. structure was no, it? No, listen, these are senior, all of them were leaders of the party. Of which and structure if of you the party? Are, what, what they call in politics, many things happen by consensus. Okay. By, by which, consensus. Which okay. What structure nominated which Mr. Oga, Mr. Which Oga, to Which the, organ the, of which the party? Which structure nominated Mr. No, I'm asking you. Yes. Which organ of the party? Well, there is a party constitution. Well, uh, and I know. I, 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 yes, I, I which have. organ? Tell me the organ. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. 
And when, when parties act through meetings, parties act through consensus. No, this a meeting thinking, must be within a constitution. Who says that? What you, says you that? Don't, it is within a constitution. What, what provision says My that? My friend, you, what can, provision you cannot says educate that me on that constitution. Oh, of you course. You cannot. Uh, and of the course, party, you have no capacity as well to tell me anything about that constitution. Me. This is how parties work. No. You cannot just come here and say what you want. Parties work through constitution. Can you tell me Mr. which Wanika, party organ? You organ, have no which capacity party to organ. advise me on anything. No, on the party. On the constitution, who says on that on the party meeting should be organized? Li who says that? Listen to me. I am the constitution. I have that constitution, that says, constitution here. Oh, I have listen to me. <laughs> a <laughs> meeting that pa that sat where there was Honorable Nambose, Chivumbi, and the teams that I've, I've talked about. Can you tell me you are the lawyer, the legal advisor? And, uh, yes, and you, that, so listen to and, me and if and you, you want me to tell you. Yes, but listen to my question mm -hmm. and you respond. What is the question? I'm asking from the party constitution. Of Noob, tell me which organ was that that called Honorable Masashi? Okay, Masashi's let me order. answer your question. Yes. Which provision in the Constitution says that? Listen, which provision in the Constitution? First, tell me and the listen, organ. You, you know, if you want an answer, you have to listen. No, but you're also asking the you question. You don't just ask Can you first there is respond no provision, and then you ask? There is no provision in the Constitution of Noob which says that the only meetings of Noob should be a, an organ. There is no it's not in the new constitution, it's not in the political parties and organizations act, it's not even in the constitution of Uganda. Okay. So there is no bar which says that members of a political party cannot meet okay. if you are, they cannot okay. meet as well. You council, cannot council, meet council, as members. Council. Underestimating was there it's, any it's, organ? It's an indictment. Was there any it's organ? An indictment on the thinking of, of you guys are saying to, to imagine that Mr. Mpoga subjected himself to a meeting which he doesn't know. Why did he attend? Which meeting, which party organ nominated him to be law? Okay. But which party fa organ fa fa nominated okay. him to be law? Who, who generated that it, statement? It, that, it, that the principal it's a, party, it's a party statement. Which party statement? Which party statement? It, it, it was signed by the National Inter Platform. Shame you don't know that it was... Shame upon it, you. Well, it shame up with the shame is on you, Mr. Wanika. If you are a council yes. that advises NOOP, I'm actually getting to know why now we have trouble. No, if you are the, the trouble comes from the likes of you. If you are the the trouble, trouble comes from the likes of you. If you are the legal advisor, if you are the legal advisor, who's and you know, and you're thinking that uh, a party statement. Listen who, to is me. Is you, have, you have spoken and have kept quiet. Well, uh, if you are the legal advisor, and that's the way that you advise that party, for a party to take a decision that is going to be abiding, it must be within the constitution. It must be with, from the organs of the party. You don't just sit as a, a, a committee, a meeting, and then you come up with a decision that is okay. binding to a party. Okay. Parties uh, was, was Mpuga summarily fired from the party? No, he wasn't. Was, did, did the party follow due diligence? Yes, it did. Which organ sat and took a decision? <laughs> party leaders. Sat and, uh, uh, and I've been trying, you know, I've been trying to labor and I, 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 I've never imagined that you people have uh, problems understanding basic things. No, I no, said no, that no. Don't every party which part of the rule, you know, I don't want to use your oh, words. Okay, if you want me to use your words, I'll come to your school, which but party, right now, which you have no capacity to advise me on what diction I use. My point is, we parties act through different meetings, through organs, no. and through other consensus no. building meetings. No, in okay. fact, nope as a party, just like any other party, apart from Mr. Wanika's one-person party, has, they, they meet, sit through informal meetings, formal and informal, okay. for purposes of consensus. Okay. So that is where, where, where is the formality in the meeting that sat and summarily fired in Puga? It did not fire who him. Who generated the statement? It did not fire him. Who, the gener meeting reached who generated the, the statement? The meeting which reached meeting? a consensus. Which meeting? Which, 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 which Mr. Bwanika, uh, Mr. Mpuga, took part of. Okay. And it can't be a summary termination okay. or whatever you call L it. Legally. When, in fact, at the end of that meeting, the conclusion was Mr. Mpuga was to step down by his own volition. That was the conclusion. It's we, not that what, was someone it, says was it through that consensus I read or it was a statement that was It read. was through consensus. No. What we gathered is that Honorable what you Robert gathered, Shangwe. of course, is different from what I gathered. So because you are not in the meeting as well. No. Just you? like you, just like you him. are not yes. in the meeting. Yes, just like so you, this just is like what we gathered. All of you here were not in the from meeting. From impeccable sources. Oh, they are more impeccable than mine. Congratulations. <laughs> from impeccable <laughs> sources. Listen, I don't think we should waste the, the public. Okay. 
Yeah, <laughs> is it now unfolding this that meeting the suspension has, of Mpunga yes. was if illegal? If you are flagging, by Simon, if you are flagging this judgment to say that, you know, this, we have now won. In fact, you have egg on face. I'm telling you, judgments are not read like uh, fiction novels, Simon. If you're reading a court judgment, you read it as a whole. You don't read like okay. these, these, these pastors who read one line and then they flag it. Okay. A judgment is read as a whole and it's construed as a whole. And I'm asking you, they gave three orders. The first order that it was approved by parliament. Does the ruling the exonerate order, the commissioners? Of course, the, 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 the judgment. <laughs> what do you mean exonerate? Uh, you know, if you say exonerate, it means that there was a trial. You, are, you, are asking, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's person. what I'm saying. That sometimes yeah. understanding legal things is not like Bibles, which you read. Yes, and uh, yes I understand. Yes. And the best question that I want you, Simon, and, and Abed to answer is, why was the clerk being condemned to personally take personal responsibility? No, 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 no. So if you no, flag, no, no, no. I'm asking by you ordinary interpretation, as a whole. by ordinary interpretation. And the reason why we are here is not to go by ordinary interpretation. By ordinary you. interpretation. Yes. The commissioners have been relieved. Of what? The case was for to instance, challenge the for instance, one. For instance, mm. the Sechikobo petition that you talk about, that you talked about earlier, has issues of illegality, has issues of misconduct. Did this court uh, add that the commission has misconducted themselves? Did this court talk about that? Which, which, question, the, which question was court addressing? The question, court was addressing one question, whether the decision went through the formal procedures. Yes. Yes. And, I'm saying, and I'm saying that yes. the court judgment did little to, 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 it said yes, it was approved by parliament. Uh -huh. And then the second limb, it says this person should take responsibility. In basic English, you don't take responsibility for something right. Uh, How would you say that this person should be punished for Mr. doing the right Mr. thing? Mr. It's Mr. just Hela. basic. Yes. This advice of no, he wants to tilt the judgment. You know judgments are not read like first Bibles. Of, first of all, mm. uh, first of all, he has told you that there were three orders. You don't need to have been to law school to understand what the judge communicated. In the censor motion, the most critical justification for that censor. What has been the call it of parliament is that we, the parliament of Uganda, never approved these service awards. The judge examined the documents, he examined the minutes. I've gone through that judgment, I saw what the judge based on. He examined the appropriation bill, and he came up with a judgment which is calling in their language order one. And order one is very clear. These service awards, they were part of the appropriation bill that was presented, not by parliament, by the executive. And the parliament passed them. That means because I want to hear now from him. What does that imply on the commissioners? On the commissioners. Before we go around talking about the clerk, what, because that censure is not on the clerk, the censure is on the commissioners. What does this, okay. after this okay. order... As we take a break, yes. Council says it's an egg on the face of Mbuga and the rest. When the commission, when the clerk is condemned for his actions... Honorable Mbuga is not the clerk of parliament. <laughs> yeah, but the he's clerk, a beneficiary of me, the clerk's actions. Uh, the clerk of parliament is an accounting officer for the parliament. An accounting officer. Honorable Mbuga is a beneficiary and a free of a fraud. Yes. No, not of a fraud. D it cannot be a fraud if it was passed legally. Well, you we'll take a break and continue <laughs> from there. But who has an egg on the face after this judgment? Good morning. Well, still discussing the twists um, in the 
ex gracia controversy where well, yesterday the judgment was passed where does it leave the national unity platform where does it leave parliament and what does it mean to parliamentary politics uh, well council george is it now time for us because the legal argument is lost is it now time for us to shift to the moral argument about Puga's actions. Uh, no, no, no because Puga is the most prominent in this controversy. But you also well, have to ask why Puga? Well, um, I don't want to say it's time to shift to the moral issue because, uh, and I don't want to call it the moral issue. Uh, I, earlier I told you that uh, the reason why a commissioner or well, the reason why a leader of opposition is on the parliamentary commission is to represent interests of the opposition. We've seen times, let me take it away from Poga and take, remember Honorable Winnie Kiza, when I think it was uh, the, the contract of the, I think, General Kaihuru, one of the IGPs. And when it came up for, uh, before the appointments committee, she declined, knowing, even well knowing that she's on the losing end, but to send a message. The purpose of opposition politics is not to say that it's my chance to join and eat. It's to say, to mirror, that if I was like here, if I was in government, I would do things differently. That is the purpose of an opposition. That is the reason why they send, to represent a voice. In this case, the unanswered question is, and uh, of course that's what I'm saying, that uh, it's, it's political, you, what you're calling more is political as well, because parliament is a theater of politics anyway, that when you got a chance to partake of the, of, of the bread, you, you happily joined them. And that came out even prominently in the judgment. So um, right now we are celebrating that saying, no, this greed was flagged by court and say that it, it's, it's okay. Then why are, you, why are you saying that Museven is living a lavish life? Why are you criticizing all other ex expenses? Because they are all legal. We've never argued about that. Okay. Mpuga was, according to... to his presser yesterday says he was adversely bruised by the party, um, maliciously, and he's seeking an apology. Does he warrant it, in your opinion? Well, that he gave his opinion, and uh, I, can't, uh, I can't say whether he was not bruised or not, because that is a personal feeling. But do you, do it you, was his, do you his, think, his personal feeling? having gone through the kind of blackmail, Mpuga deserves an apology? From who? From the party. Because the party position still stands. So the apology for what? For having because accused him, has the party has the party come out for to having abuse him? accused him, him has of the party come out to abuse the wrong him? And mm. court has now vindicated him. I think, uh, uh, as a lawyer, uh, he, he has all the right. He knows all the rightful avenues where he can seek redress. I don't want to call this a vindication. And for me, as a firm believer in the rule of law, I want to take this judgment above Mpug and, and, and the nope issues that you want so much But the major address. spotlight is on Mpug. Uh, 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 yes, but it doesn't help jurisprudence. It doesn't help if you are saying that, uh, okay, you, the major but, spotlight. But it enriches politics. Does it? Yes. How? It enriches, it exposes how politics runs, especially within the national unity platform. The, the national unity platform was not a party, Simon. I know you love it so much. It wasn't a party to this case, neither was it part of the pleadings or the submissions. Uh, you, you, are, you are dragging it there. As, but as the actions of the national unity platform. Yes. They were not were the impugned actions. The, on the illegality. The, the actions of the national unity no platform wonder, were not no wonder, the, the basis the national of the court decision, Simon. has been rallying its The national unity platform was not a part to of this court case. their signatures As you know, Buete, Buete, came from, Buete is not a member of the national platform. Possibly it could even be closer to the, to, to, to the respondents than to the NUP. So NUP was not a party to this case. It did not even come up, not even in a foot, footnote. The case had footnotes. It did, the judgment had footnotes. It didn't come up, not even a footnote. Yeah, but the, the, the case, the judgment has a bearing on the actions of the National Unity Platform. Doesn't partially, it? very, very partially. Because like I said, the other question, which even uh, with the so many minutes that both, of, both you and uh, Mr. Bed have spoken, you've not answered the simple question that, was it right? That like court asked, because court said, I don't want to go, because that is court, I don't want to go into the motivations of the executive parliament in coming up with this. 
So the question, the unanswered question, and we, 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 so we are now going into we are now you going asked into me a the moral question, territory. Not moral. We, are, we are going into the moral. Political. You asked no. a political question, Simon, mm. Mm. and I'm saying 